This rather boring log surrounded by straw is the epic setting of many a battles to settle any and all quarrels. This is a place of which a competition of skill and wits is fought. This game is one of easy setup and rules, but hard to win. All ages and ranks of warriors were welcome. However, we did strongly recommend leaving all the blades, shields, and helmets on the grass beyond the straw. This game's winners were dominated by the ladies, who seemed to be the best without shoes in general. Going barefoot seemed to lend the most balance and grip to the players. All the lads and lasses seemed to enjoy the game, whether they were overpowered by older siblings and friends, or their parents. However, we passed out a sweet treat to those that had no chance of winning, so there were no true losers. The rules of the game are simple. The pillowcases were filled with straw, which were regularly adjusted depending on the players. Lighter bags for smaller players, and fuller bags for bigger and or armored players. While standing on the log, the players tried to knock the other player off the log. All the hits were not to be above the shoulder, below the knees, or in the groin. Each time a player stepped off, that was a round that they had lost, and there are four rounds per game. On Saturday, we got a small tournament of the Seattle Knights, who played an epic game with five of their armored players. The Knights returned on Sundays with friends of the green, red, and blue teams, along with the Marshals. However, as you will see, being in armor does not make the game any easier.
After the Knights Tournament, the winner, Felix, played our champion, Little John. And the fun continued from there. We thoroughly enjoyed all of our players. We also extend a special thanks to the Ye Merry Greenwood Renaissance Fair for letting us run the Twizzly Walk for the weekend, and to the Seattle Knights for their tournaments as well. Hopefully, we will see all of you next year. <laughs>